today we're going to be cutting some firewood. So I'm going to get the tractor hooked up and we got to get the pallet forks off of it. We'll fire up the old Aden and we're going to go out and get the military trailer hooked up to do some firewood here. a couple days ago and I think the uh, I think the combination of the cold and the age of that battery has uh, killed it okay so what we want to do here I want to check the condition of the terminals on this battery they're not there's the positive that's the negative they're not corroded they're nice and tight. They're not moving around a whole lot. Let me check the ground strap. So the ground strap comes down to here. I see a little corrosion on it, but the ground strap itself looks nice and clean. The power wire from the positive comes down to the starter solenoid. Let's make sure it's nice and tight connections on there look pretty good. Um, I'm going to go up and grab a voltage tester and see where our battery is at for voltage when we crank on. Okay, uh, what we're using here is a digital volt ohm meter, digital multimeter um, with test leads on it. We're going to be turning this to voltage and we need to make sure this, this system, uh, basically this is this is your voltage right here. I don't know if you can see it in the video, but I'm gonna put these terminals, I'm gonna put the black on the negative and the red on the positive. Hopefully I can do this and show you guys. A reading on this. So I don't know if you can see this or not. I'll get the camera a little closer. There's going to be some glare on it, so it's showing that battery is 9.2 volts. Um, this would be this would be wonderful if I was running an 8 volt battery, but I have converted this tractor from a 6 volt battery to a 12 volt battery. So at this time, this battery should be reading closer to 12 to 12 and a half volts. Let me see what happens when I go to try to start it. cranking better than it was before but it's it's dropping down to six volts when I try to crank it um, I wonder if one of the cells in this battery is starting to go bad that's it, sh it should be when it's actually charging with the engine running you should be around 14 volts um, and this this is cold it's, it's probably 30 degrees in the barn right now well maybe a little warmer than that because we got some there's some water droplets on the hood that aren't frozen so it might be just above freezing in here, but that's that's not a good situation. So we are going to use a uh, a charger to try to get this battery back up a little bit on its charge. So I'm going to show you guys how we do that. We've got our positive and negative terminals here. And we are going to connect these to the positive and negative leads on the battery. So we are going to start with our positive and we're going to connect that. I don't know if you can see what I'm doing there. Make sure that's connected. Make sure it's not contacting any other metal or anything like that because you don't want to short anything out. The negative terminal is going to go on the negative. So black is always on the negative. <clears throat> and I want to double check these before I do anything um, including plugging this in because I don't want anything to happen. Now my, my specific charger, when those connections are made properly, will turn on the light 
that backlights the uh, charging gauge on there so I know that they're connected properly. Um, this has been a pretty good battery charger for us. I think it came from Rural King. Um, there's, there's a lot of different brands out there that are good. I like to have this one because it has 6 volt and 12 volt and it also has a starter set up where it'll do 200 amps to help start the engine if you just need to get it going right away. Okay, so I have this uh, plugged in and turned on, or plugged in right now. It's hooked to the battery. So I'm gonna turn this on to the 10 amp setting. And as you see, this gauge came up just below 10 amps, which means that that battery is drawing 10 amps of charge. Uh, that means that this battery definitely needed charged up. Now, the needle is dropping fairly quickly, which means that the battery is taking a charge. The battery is charging back up quickly, but that's uh, that's, that's given me a uh, little bit of warning here that that battery is going to need replaced soon because if it's charging back up like that, that's a good thing, but the fact that it lost the power overnight or within a day or two, um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take it up to 30 amps see what it does so it's, it's not coming up to 30 it's staying at about 10 right now so it's definitely uh, definitely charging that battery up a bit I'm gonna try to crank the engine and see what it does here so I'm gonna move you guys back so you can see what we're doing we'll zoom back out a little bit that way you guys can actually see what's going on see if we can get it to fire up It definitely cranked a little bit slow, um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna see what the battery's charging at now that we've got it running. So I'm gonna get the multimeter set back up. So I have the multimeter set back up on the tractor with it running. Oh boy! And we're at about 9.4 volts, which means this is not charging. Oh, okay, I I forgot. So on on this tractor. I have upgraded this tractor to 12 volts. Originally this tractor did not have an alternator on it. It actually had a generator on it to charge it. Uh, I added a one wire alternator and when I did that, I have a, a button up here on the dash that I have to press to energize this system. So I'm gonna press this button. I forgot to press the thing to get it to charge. So I'm gonna see if I can show you guys so we're at 9.4, so this will energize the uh, alternator. There we go. Immediately that alternator starts putting it up above 14. And the amp meter that is on the tractor has actually come up as well. It's hard to see with the glare there. But the amp meter has come up which shows that the tractor is charging as well. So I don't have any concerns about using the tractor right now because it is charging the battery as I drive it. But uh, that that battery is on its last legs. It's gonna need replaced soon. Uh, I'll be able to use the tractor for the day. As long as I can get it jump started, it's gonna charge the battery up enough that if I shut it off in the woods, we should be able to get it fired back up. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and try to use this. But uh, a battery is, uh, battery is, is going to happen very very soon on this one. 